we often need to multiply expressions containing square root radicals. To multiply radicals with the same index, just multiply their radicands. We'll use the variables a and b to illustrate this. The square root of a times the square root of b equals the square root of a times b. We specify that a is greater than or equal to zero, and b is greater than or equal to zero. We specify these because the square root of a negative number is not a real number. It is something that we call an imaginary number. Here we deal only with real numbers. So square root radicands must either be positive or zero, never negative. Sometimes the product of two radicals can be simplified. You always need to check for this. For example, the square root of 10 times the square root of 2 equals the square root of 20. But 20 can be factored to 4 times 5. The square root of 4 times 5 can be broken up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is just 2. So the final answer is 2 root 5. You can also multiply expressions containing numbers and radicals. We're asked to find the product 3 root 6 times 5 root 2. We multiply the numbers 3 times 5 and the radicals root 6 times root 2. So we have the expression 3 times 5 times root 6 times root 2. 3 times 5 is 15 and root 6 times root 2 is root 12. But 12 can be factored to 4 times 3. And the square root of 4 times 3 can be broken down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2 and 15 times 2 equals 30. So the final answer is 30 root 3. To multiply a binomial by a monomial, use the distributive property. We're asked to find the product 4 root 5 times 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 in brackets. We multiply 4 root 5 times 3 root 2 to give us this and 4 root 5 times negative 2 root 3 to give us this. 4 root 5 times 3 root 2 is equal to 12 root 10. And 4 root 5 times 2 root 3 is equal to 8 root 15. So we're left with this as our final answer. Neither 10 nor 15 can be factored to perfect squares, so we cannot simplify this anymore. To multiply a binomial by another binomial, use FOIL, or first outside, inside last. We're asked to find the product of these two binomials. We start by multiplying the first terms 5 root 2 times 4 root 3. Now we multiply the outside terms 5 root 2 times 2 root 2. Next we multiply the inside terms 2 root 3 times 4 root 3. Lastly, we multiply the last terms, 2 root 3 and 2 root 2. Now we have this very long expression containing four terms. We'll find the product in each term. The product in the first term is 20 root 6. The product in the second term is 10 root 4. The product in the third term is 8 root 9. And the product in the fourth term is 4 root 6. So we're left with this expression. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we have this expression. We'll simplify it a bit. 10 times 2 is 20, and 8 times 3 is 24. So we're left with this. 20 root 6 and 4 root 6 are like terms, so we'll put them side by side. Now they're side by side, so we can add them. 20 root 6 plus 4 root 6 is equal to 24 root 6. And 20 plus 24 equals 44. So the final answer is 24 root 6 plus 44. Here's the entire example. If you like, you can pause the video and review the steps. A special case is a binomial multiplied by its conjugate. We'll use the variables a and b to illustrate this. If a plus b is a binomial, then a minus b is its conjugate. The two terms in the conjugate a and b are exactly the same as those in the original binomial, 
The only thing that's different is the plus sign has been changed to a minus sign. We'll use FOIL to multiply these. We'll multiply the first terms a times a to give us a squared. Next, we'll multiply the outside terms a times negative b to give us negative ab. Now we'll multiply the inside terms b times a to give us positive ba, which is the same as ab. Lastly, we'll multiply the last terms b times negative b to give us negative b squared. So we're left with a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. Notice in the middle of this expression, we have negative ab plus ab. These add up to zero. So we'll replace negative ab plus ab with zero. And we're left with this, which is the same as a squared minus b squared. So whenever we have a binomial multiplied by its conjugate, it is just equal to the first term squared minus the second term squared. We can use this as a shortcut. We'll do an example with radicals. We're asked to find the product of these two binomials. We see that it's a binomial times its conjugate. So we can use the shortcut a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. Using the shortcut, the product of this binomial and its conjugate will be 3 root 5 squared minus 7 root 3 squared, which is 3 squared times root 5 squared minus 7 squared times root 3 squared. 3 squared is equal to 9. The square root of 5 squared is equal to 5. 7 squared is equal to 49. And the square root of 3 squared is equal to 3. So we have this expression, but we can simplify it. 9 times 5 equals 45. And 49 times 3 equals 147. 45 minus 147 comes out to negative 102, which is the final answer. We'll summarize the main points we covered involving multiplication of square root radicals. To multiply two radicals with the same index, we simply multiply their radicands. To multiply expressions with numbers and radicals, multiply both the radicals and the numbers. To multiply a binomial, or any other polynomial, by a monomial, use the distributive property. To multiply two binomials, use FOIL. And finally, to multiply a binomial by its conjugate, use the shortcut a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared.